Shirley, the big question here is, does obesity cause autism? What do we know now from the research? Right, so in terms of causing, we cannot say that obesity causes autism. But there is new research that just came out showing there is a link, which suggests that perhaps um, what they found was that mothers who are obese when they are pregnant um, have a, uh, a, a quite an increased risk of, of having kids with autism or a broader developmental delay, a two-fold increase in de developmental delay. So that suggests that um, this increasing rate of obesity that we're seeing in the country could be having an effect on the autism rates in this country as well. And as you point out, a third of women of reproductive age are classified as obese, right. which is certainly a, a huge problem to deal with right. uh, from a policy perspective. Exactly. I mean, people have been wondering why the rates of autism in this country have been going up and up and up over the last decade. And um, each new study provides some clues about what might be a factor. And in this case, obesity, um, which is quite prevalent, like you pointed out, one third of women of reproductive age have, who are obese, and this could be a, a significant factor. And, and, and Shirley, what, you know, there was, there was a lot of talk about another study that came out that says something like one in 88 children, I think it is, and now died. Is there some of this that has to do with better uh, diagnostic tools and better understanding of the whole autism spectrum? That's right. So you're referring to a new CDC report that came out two weeks ago that says that now one in 88 kids in the U.S. is affected by autism. And yes, part of that rate is because of better detection. We're diagnosing kids earlier now. Kids who probably weren't detected before are being, det are being diagnosed. However, that's only part of the picture. The other part is certainly researchers say that something else is going on to actually really be um, raising the, the rate. So what it is um, seems to be many, many different factors, probably not just one main cause. And what's the response to this? What are people supposed to do other than perhaps exercise right. more than they do already? Right, and that's actually um, not trivial, right? Mm -hmm. um, the fact that lots of people um, have trouble eating properly and exercising, so that actually is the best thing that they could do, say, say researchers, because even if obesity contributes 1% to your risk of having a child with de developmental, developmental delays, um, can you not, do you not want to sort of change what you can change? So even if it helps 1%, that is the, actually the best thing to do. And uh, what do we know about other uh, causes or potential causes that we've, we've seen in this research now? Right, so a lot of the factors have focused on the um, prenatal environment, so when the child's actually still in the womb, and they found that things like um, taking prenatal vitamins, not ta or rather not taking them, is linked to increased risk of autism, also premature birth, um, difficulties during birth, and even lately um, environmental com uh, components like if you live near a freeway, uh, you're actually much more likely to have a kid who has autism.